Finally, Golden Axe the Revenge of Death Adder is in the Fight Cave Arcade Collection. I'll do a quick review when I come back. Okay, to begin, the good news is I've found zero issues so far with my Golden Axe cabinet. Uh, no sound issues like Miss Pac-Man or problems with high scores or uh, bad button mapping. Uh, everything seems to be good. I'm very, very happy. And uh, I'll do a quick rundown of this cabinet as some of these games have uh, a lot of people already know. So I'll go over the main ones and go over the overall look first though. This is a pretty badass looking cabinet. Um, I think it has a couple of weaknesses. I, I will say one really uh, small weakness and there's one thing I would have liked to have it added to it. Uh, the first thing I don't like is that the riser um, has the exact same image on the side as a, as a side panel. I think they could have went with something different. And that kind of leads into uh, the second thing I wish they would have added. It's, it's missing the, the classic Sega logo. I don't know how Sega was signed off without adding their badass logo to this. But for me, you know, it just brings up a lot of positive uh, memories. And, uh, you know, Sega is one of the biggest names uh, when it comes to gaming in my childhood. So I wish they would have found some way to uh, tastefully add it to the cabinet. Start with the marquee, it looks pretty good. Um, it's definitely one of their better uh, marquees, but I still feel they can still uh, make a leap forward by using better vinyl graphics and also going with a better acrylic. I think the goal should be for it to look as glass-like as possible and it's still very much plasticky and it loses color when they light up. But when you go down to the bezel, I really love the art around it, and I love the infogra uh, infographics on the bottom. I'm glad they stuck with that. And overall, there's absolutely zero complaints or issues with the bezel. Uh, it's a great job overall. Moving on to the control deck, they did a great job. It looks great. Um, a little bit of differences from CES, where the ball tops were all different colors. Here, they're all red. But overall, it's not a big deal. Um, the on and off button um, is not a push button, which I like, but the volume is. And every time you click the, uh, the, the volume, it's a special effect of like wood hitting wood. So that was a little bit different. I know NBA Jam is a ball going through the hoop. So I, I kind of like these little subtle things that they put in there. One of the nice features on this cabinet is you're able to change... Um, settings in all of the games and uh, they're all they're a little bit different in uh, each game but you could change the lives you could change difficulty you could uh, change the attract attract mode um, how much life you start off with uh, i know shinobi i think it was the speed of bullets so all these games come with uh, the ability to change its settings and i i think that's great one of the reasons why I was really attracted to this cabinet was because I never had a chance to play uh, Revenge of Death Adder. Um, as soon as it was released, I kind of went to YouTube and started looking at videos. And I was like, wow, you know, this looks like a really great game. And guess what? It does not disappoint at all. Um, from going to different paths to get to the, the final boss, uh, the more characters at once, more interesting and diverse characters. Uh, diverse heroes um, it, it really is golden axe on steroids overall I think the filters look really good on this game um, you could turn them off if you don't like them but I think the filters not only look good on this game but they look good on all five games Wrestle War is a, a interesting game uh, that the gameplay really is not that deep but it's still a fun a button masher um, it's a vertical game that's on a horizontal screen but arcade one up did a really great job adding bezel elements instead of letting it be black on the side and the first time I was playing I was definitely looking uh, at the bezel trying to figure out what moves I can hit so um, that 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 was really um, really beneficial and improved the gameplay experience 
I found it to be uh, just as good as Nintendo's uh, Pro Wrestling that was on the console system. And I, I think it's pretty comparable to WrestleFest um, without, the, obviously, the, the licensed characters. So overall, it's a pretty good game. Uh, the difficulty isn't too bad. You should be able to get to the third or fourth wrestler before you start having issues. So uh, I've got to play it a little bit more, but I like what I see so far. If Death Adder was the number one reason why I got this game, uh, Shinobi is easily going to be the number two reason. Uh, I love playing this game in the arcade, even though I really sucked at it. I never really got past, I think, the second level. But uh, I already made it that far in the first try, so uh, hopefully my luck will be a little bit better now. But, uh, you know, at the age of 10, when, when this came out, um, we were all into ninjas and we would make our own paper ninja stars and we we're all into karate and the karate kid and you know we we're just at that age and uh games like this was something that we really were attracted to and i i had a ton of uh, fun playing it and i had a ton of fun uh playing it today so uh, i look forward to finally maybe being this bad boy uh in the coming months when it comes to uh golden axe it, it's it's classic right um the thing that probably makes me not really interested in playing it now is because it was such a good port to the Sega Genesis. And I know I also got it on the PS3 and the PS4. So um, it's good to have it on the cabinet. Unfortunately, games like this and Ultra Beast, which has a lot less replay value, are probably not going to get played. Yeah, a situation where somebody wants to check it out for the first time. It's great that it's on the cabinet. It looks good. They play good. And, um, you know, I think overall, uh, kudos to Arcade 1UP. I know they've been taking a lot of shit lately. And, you know, they kind of deserve it, to be honest. But uh, this is the reason why I'm a big fan. And this is a home run. They came through. Um, everything... Everything was as advertised, and I think as a consumer, that's all we want is for them to deliver on what they say they're going to deliver on, and uh, no issues. All the games there, they play great. Tons of uh, options in the settings. Um, lots of little touches like the infographics around the bezel. Good job overall. Um, is it one of my best cabs? It, it's pretty damn close. And uh, I'm, I'm thankful I picked it up. And hopefully, uh, you know, if you want one, you'll be able to get one. I know they said that there's limited stock, uh, but they won't release a number. So uh, if I were you, uh, I would go ahead and pick this up. It's a must buy. It's going to be a top, it's easy, top three, top five cab that Arcade One Up's ever produced. So uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate all the new subscribers. And I appreciate every single view. Uh, let me know what you think. If you got one, let me know what you think. I'm pretty sure that you're going to be pretty satisfied with this one. See you next time.